Hi guys, welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another reading and this is with regards to Sushant's case. And actually this is requested to me by Saint Michael the Archangel because within this week it's very an intense week for the Bollywood because they are kind of included in the case based on the references that the other agencies has and i feel like cbi is trying its best to prove that uh, there is something wrong with others investigation and now what's going on here is that ed and cbi is working hand in hand except for ncb and aims and according to the angels that what's going on in india is not really good to be honest with you there's a lot of turmoils and they say um be prepared for some revelations that's about to happen and that's the reason why they are releasing this video so that people will be able to see what is really happening was the true colors of the case situation etc and this is about the outcomes about this current investigation and remember that outcomes can shift but the angels say whether or not this outcome may come true or not at least we may have a certain idea about the situation of cbi and also ed that we keep an eye on to that holds our hope in despite of what others has been doing and try to manifest the truth for coming out by prayers and as well as we need to pray for india and for the world because actually the china is releasing a new form of virus and i feel like it's also been happening now in china and i think that people are getting sick and i'm worried very I'm honestly worried, especially on those countries that they targeted to conquer, like Philippines, like India, and so forth. And the angels say it doesn't mean that Chinese people are evil. Their leader are, okay, and what they want us to do is to pray and hope that a miracle may happen or there will be a divine intervention that this um agenda of this certain country will be over and um let's just hope that we are protected from such disaster and it's not um it's not a plague of the divine it is a man-made disaster okay and let's just hope and pray that we are protected and also our family friends and our lovers okay is there anything else they say that's it so anyway let's proceed on with our readings for the first part we're gonna ask about the investigation outcome so first let's begin on with ncb i know that some people don't want to watch about ncb but you can um just use a timestamp to browse whatever you want to hear okay so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of ncb please show to us the overall theme of this reading thank you another they requested so I don't know why I sense unrequited love. Unrequited meaning not on the same page love, but in this NCB case, okay, it's like um, they are not on the same page as what the ED and CBI is trying to, to say, okay? It contradicts, and that's the reason why I feel like if ever the outcome will come forth with a certain company or certain group of people, actually um they are doubtful i feel like there will come a time wherein it's happening now actually that some people are on the other side that side of the sisters versus the side of the other right because there's a lot of confusion in terms of Sushan's case. Now we'll see what else. Angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of ncb 
Okay, one more. Suddenly, I feel the chills. I don't know why I feel chills. I feel like this NCB is trying to put its best like Mafia is in this um, situation of Sushant's death, okay? And that Sushant is really a bad person when he was alive, but then nobody wants to um, point out the finger that Sushant is a bad person because in Sushant's case, you know, he contributed he contributed a lot with the world and he has been a motivator too and that's the reason why no one wants to believe whatever ncb is trying to portray that sushant is a bad person here because sushant has a lot of fans and they are aware that sushant is murdered and sushant is a good person and how come you can say that this is sushant blah 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 so unfortunately for ncb no one will bite on it that's what i'm seeing here because they're trying to prove that sushant is into drugs into alcohol into party etc but yes sushant is into parties but it doesn't mean that he is into those things because you know in some cases yes there is in certain events but then if you go to a certain place and you don't really drink or you don't really do certain bad things, you know, people may think negatively of you. And Sushant is very smart. Remember that. How can you still write in a journal, um, write poems, and even has a tendency to write a book or dreams even if you're not on the right mindset thinking, right? Another... So the angels say that don't worry because no one will believe in NCB aside from those people that fantasize that it's about Bollywood, etc. And even the sisters of Sushant will say that Sushant is bad. Like he did this and that when he was still alive, but then it's not even true. The angels say, and it's them who has been using those things. Just look at their faces, the angels say. Who looks lo who looks more than an addict, the angels say. Is it Sushant or them? Okay, one more. So, those who killed Sushant is not on the right mindset thinking. One more. And they can't prove that it's murder. I'm sorry, they can't prove that it's suicide because uh, the angels say that how can he kill himself with a belt? Okay, so we'll see with this one. With the tarot, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of NCP. I feel like some people just want to be popular in this case situation. Most likely politicians, that's what they want to say. Another. So. Ray is manifesting that the truth may come out one day. I feel this. So the Archangels say that there's a lot of people that are linking towards drugs and how can they be included if they are not in Sushant's um, apartment, right? So this is the overall energy. So this is a bright detail. What is the outcome? Now I'm going to clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. I feel like zero, zero leading. So the angels say why zero leading is because no one will believe it. Because it's misleading. It's very different from what is there in the picture. 
How about the two bodies in the ambulance? Like, it's very misleading with the NCB investigation. That's why no one might believe on it, except those who are brainwashed by the sisters of Sushant. And I feel like the father of Sushant might again broadcast something, um, but he's just acting as a puppet for the sisters. But unfortunately for this father, he will get included in the court case situation, whether he likes it or not. And in the court case, the angels say he can't say anything for he don't know about Rhea. He's just being asked to say those things and I really feel like the sisters can't really control their father okay, in the court situation. How can they help their father during the healing process? Do they have um, a certain gadget um, with regards to... I don't know. I've seen it in the movies. <laughs> like there is an earphone and so forth. And <laughs> I don't know if it's allowed in the court anyway, right? Another. <laughs> it's not necessarily important. What's important is we are aware about the true colors of these murderers. That they are trying their best to hide the truth from the people. And they have hidden agendas since we don't know what's going on with their media. Right? What I mean by media in the group, in a group in, let's say, what's up and so forth, like there's something going on there. Now, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So with the nine of wands, I'm sensing here that NCB is trying to prove themselves towards others that they are right and others are wrong, but no one will bite it okay it's not the truth okay that's what's going on and i feel like with our hermit those people that didn't really um think about it or those people that is um just someone that wants to be spoon fed by information are the one who gonna believe on it but those people that are intellectual that are wise they cannot fall into the trap of ncb Okay, that's what the energy is. Now, for the Ten of Cups being here, so obviously, um, no one will buy it. They're not gonna be happy with regards to the revelation that these people will say, okay? Because I think that, yes, it, it was nonsense. I feel like it's full of drama, full of air, which is, you know, it's like um, you're talking with nonsense okay at all like it's not tangible it's not something that you feel right okay and i feel like this ncb is being controlled over by a politician as you can see here and i really feel like they i feel like they tampered some of the evidences of whatever the bollywood will say like they are trying their best to make it look like sushant is a bad picture here i feel like they even try to make it work or make it look like a bollywood is really bad that's what i feel like that is also what kangana is showing to the world which is not really good imagine your yourself without Bollywood, right? What will happen to your economy? What will happen um, in other artists that are really good, right? Not all people are evil. Example, like China, what makes it evil is the leader itself, right? And anyway, with the hangman in reverse here, what I'm sensing is that um, these people are actually are making making the murderers run away from their crimes, I guess you can see here. And with the Queen of Wands being here, I really feel like Rhea is out of the picture in terms of their investigation because they're including something else there. But then I really feel like this is how you will feel. Like it's like what they say is like an air, like you want to let go. Okay, you don't want to keep because... Yes, it's brainwashing, but then I really feel like you have a feeling that it's not true. Okay, about Sushant's death. What happened really here? Okay, I feel like whatever they will say is not really based on Sushant's murder case. Okay, I feel like they might come across like it's suicide. Okay, even though it's murder. Like whatever it is on the crime scene. 
That's why no one will believe in it, okay? No one. No one will even watch it. No one wants to listen to it. And as I told you that it is NCB's hiding facts. That's what's going on here. And I think that NCB is um, working against the odds, the angels say. Like they are trying to brainwash people. Okay, especially those that are just wanting to be spoon-fed by information. See how imbalanced they are. And I think that with the two of chalices here, Rhea is out of the picture because how can they prove that Rhea wants to kill Sushant if in the first place she can have anything if Sushant was dead. That's why in their, in their outcome, Sushant is, I feel like is murdered, but in some cases, suicide is whatever they will say that they, they are confused. They, they might say it's suicide, they might say it's murder. So that's why no one will bite on it, okay? See with the judgment in reverse. So I'm sensing here that they're trying to make it look like Sushant is a drug addict. And no one will bite it, okay? No one will bite that Sushant is a bad picture because they are aware that Sushant is a successful man. And Sushant is balanced in, in terms of love, caring, energy here and i'm sensing like even ishkaran in the first place right reacted when you know people say that sushant has a mental health disorder right and with a star being here so that's the reason why as i told you india will be divided those who believe versus the not so i feel like a lot will fight about um the outcome of this ncb i feel like it will be announced and people will see that but then there's fighting involved here like hey it's not true i feel like the fans will fight for sushant because they're very upset they can't accept the truth that of course sushant will be called on drug addict even though he is an upright person and i think that what will happen here is that ncb will lose its power like they cannot fight this argument and i feel like people will leave them like no one believes on them that's what's going on because they believe that sushant is happy before he passed away and then ncb i feel that the politician is gonna be stressed out and worried about reputation because for sure people will attack this politician that's what's gonna happen here and he will lose his power over handling sushant's case so for the Eight of Pentacles, I'm seeing here that some people will tackle in about Sushant's life or murder case. And I feel like they will find out that Sushant is actually like this, okay? Very sad about his life in general, but he's tried to push forward with regards to career, okay? And even though Sushant is like this okay he has certain solution and how to um get rid of his loneliness okay and with the emperor here i feel like they might question where is the friends of sushant the real the real one because they will justify um if sushant is really um a suicidal or not person okay but i'm sensing here with this emperor with regards to that politician you know this politician will carry that burden that this person is nasty. I feel like some politicians will help so that NCB will be questioned. And of course, the politician whom is behind the NCB will carry that burden of blame. And that's what I'm seeing or trying to run away from what they did. Now, let's see about the outcome. So for an outcome, we got um, Seven of Swords in reverse. So as you can see here, I feel like Rhea will be again um, be called on by NCB. And again, the politician is here again. I feel like they're trying to reprove themselves. But then during those times, I have a feeling here, they're just trying to clear their name, okay? And with regards to the family of Sushant, I think that Rhea will point out um, that the family of Sushant is really somebody 
that is really imbalanced family and it made Sushan feel like the empress in reverse like he won't be abundant with his family like they are holding him back from being successful and happy I feel like the murderers cannot escape from Rhea because Rhea will speak the truth once that she is being summoned again. I feel like Rhea is willing to fight back, okay? So with regards to that politician and CB, they will continuously blame and blame Bollywood and so forth. But then no one will like it, okay? Because they are back and forth with their statement. At first, they will say it's suicide and then will turn to murder like um because of the mafia and so forth it's like the family of sushant you know um so what they call this misleading like they are not really sure why sushant passed away right oh my gosh okay. this is dizzy okay no wonder why no one wants to watch about ncb don't worry if you don't like this, you can always escape, okay? Escape um, this reading. You can try to browse um, anything. <laughs> but I still have to include this, guys, because they asked me to include this one, alright? Another. So, anyway, here is the charms. So, what we got here is the mirror. So, I really feel like with regards to the mirror, those fans of Sushant that really know Sushant really cannot take it, whatever NCB will say. Because NCB will broadcast something out of the blue that is not really true about Sushant. And they're, they're gonna be upset on um, misleading lies of these people. And I'm sensing like... um. With regards to this one, I feel like NCB can point to Rhea because they are aware that Rhea can't have the riches of Sushant if she murdered him before marriage, okay? That's the reason why they're trying their best not to include Rhea because they are aware about it. And I feel like they are just following orders from someone of high position and they're trying their best by I feel like trying to they say the book or trying to play the blame game and trying to twist and turn the stories and with the world being here I'm sensing like they will try again to destroy the world of people with social media don't mind about NCB, it's just like a bug, okay, in Sushan's case. Okay, so I'm not really interested on watching about NCB. So anyway, here are the cards, so they gave all in. This is how much information that they try to put to people. Imagine that if it's stuck in your head, I don't know what will happen to you. You will get confused, right? So we'll see. So obviously, I'm feeling here that there's really a politician that's behind the scenes that's trying to control and manipulate this case situation with a lot of information. So I really feel here with regards to Sushan's case, the fans will be very upset because, of course, I think that they will not be accepting about whatever this NCB is trying to manifest, right? And I feel here that they will play the blame game and they made the murderers escape who really killed Sushant, see? And I really feel like with regards to Rhea, I think that they will try to pinpoint that they have arguments there in the connection and the connection is not really moving forth and they will try to say that you know, people are evil like even Sushant is evil, even Rhea is evil, all are evil in Bollywood. That's what's going on here. But then I really feel like some people will say or will justify that Sushant really wants to get away from the world and want to be alone because of these greedy people as you can see here. And I feel like there, there is a truth coming out about this kind of situation that Sushant really wants to run away from toxic people to reach his dreams, okay? That's what he has been going through. That's why he has this sadness in him and he really wants to to break away. Even Sandeep knows that. I don't know if you managed to 
to hear whatever Sandeep says in the first place in Arnab show way, way back when everything is okay, okay? When Sandeep is still accused, like Sandeep is aware that Sushant wants to go somewhere to have a peace of mind, right? And I'm sensing here that there is a news about that. And NCB will continuously try to destroy the case situation here with um, a lot of information, okay? And NCB is trying their best to try to reach the goal that they will be right so that the politician will be on the picture here. But then people cannot bite it because they are aware how kind Sushant was. How can be Sushant be somebody that is um, trying to waste his talent and time and effort and money in drugs, right? So I really feel like that's why they cannot tackle on about um, the history of Sushant with regards to family, with regards to his life in general, and people will get angry about saying that Sushant is like this, okay? And I'm sensing like some of them are still angry with Rhea because Rhea is using Sushant way back when he was still alive, okay? I feel like, again, NCB might say that, but look at what NCB is doing. Like, no one really wants to, to listen because what's going on here is that they are trying their best to pinpoint different things. I feel like people will focus more likely when Sushant is running away from the world, from people, and trying to hide, see, trying to hide the money from someone. And with this mask, I have a feeling here that NCB is trying their best to make it look like Sushant is a bad person. But people will justify how come because he has a lot of opportunities. He has these money-making abilities. And that's the reason why no one will believe in NCB trying to make them believe that Sushant is a bad person. And this politician is kind of brainwashing people to believe. I feel like a politician is really trying to control um this NCB. And I'm sensing here that with regards to Sushant, I think that the murderers are really after the money of Sushant. That's what you can see here. And how come Bollywood wants the money of Sushant, right? And that's the reason why no one will believe in it. Like they are twisting the stories. They're twisting that Raya used Sushant for money. They're twisting like um, Sushant was killed for money, but how come Bollywood will kill him for money, right? And etc. There's a lot of situation and that's the reason why no one believes on whatever this NCB is trying to say because it's confusing. And how come Sushant is a drug addict if he has dreams, right? And that's the reason why I feel like with regards to NCB, they might jail people that are not really included in the murder. And I think that they are making people more confused and that's the reason why no one believes on them. They're very toxic, see? And I feel like the fans will cry even more because they are aware that Sushant is murdered. They are aware that Sushant is not what they say, okay? And... I feel like Sushant was abandoned since childhood. I feel like he hide his tears behind the scenes, but some people know that. That's what I'm seeing here. And I'm sensing like he was trapped. Like um, somebody don't want him to get married. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like it will brought up to the picture. I don't know by whom. I feel like it's more likely um, there's somebody that is trying their best to control the case situation. I feel like yeah, the politician will continuously do that. And I feel like with regards to CBI, they are still trying their best to look 
at Sushant's murder case situation. Okay, whomever is with Sushant during those times that he was murdered. That's what's going on here. And why is it Sushant wanna be alone? That's what they want to portray. They want to look at the past of Sushant. I don't know what's, why CBI is here. And CBI is working through the dark. That's what they want to say to the facts of NCB. But NCB, NCB's reign will be over sooner or later because they're trying to destroy the case even more. And they're brainwashing people with a lot of lies. But once the truth will come out, it's only one book here, okay? It's only one truth, but a lot of lies that NCB has said, okay? And NCB will tell that people who... I feel like they took advantage of Sushant, whatever the NCB will say. And with this one, I have a feeling here that if ever these bollywood stars or some people that they called on to will say something look at that they're not really writing it okay and i feel like the real murderers are escaping because of what they're doing and they're questioning people that are really away from sushan's murder that's what's going on and again they will pinpoint Rhea obviously why Rhea left Sushant alone during those times that he was murdered and he surrounded himself with people that are really evil so I think that and this NCB though they try to turn the case around again they will be again in the situation inside that apartment of Sushant whom he surrounded himself with um, when Rhea was away and again there will be me too and so forth and I think that since that's the case situation no one believes in believes that Rhea is in the picture and that's why the NCB will be forcefully trying to blame the game on something else again that's what I'm sensing because Bollywood is not really in the picture the one who's killing Sushant is someone that's really against the marriage of Sushant here and people who really believe in Sushant that Sushant is not a drug addict and so forth really will question the NCB okay and i feel like they will tackle on about the life of sushant since he was little how he was um betrayed and sushant is trying to run away from this family and i think that the family of sushant will be in the picture again that they are evil they are trying to control manipulate sushant and yeah there will be a uh, messages there so ncb on the other hand trying their best to destroy this kind of situation that the family of sushant was included in the murder and i don't know what is their plan but i think that they really want to include bollywood in the picture but how come it's possible right if it's not really the truth situation here and i think that what's gonna happen to ncb it's 50 50 chance that they will be successful because they are manipulating the case they keep on giving different story situation to the point that no one will believe in them because Sushant, you know, the universe has Sushant's back. As you can see, he's very spiritual, a loving energy, and he's good at work. And I think that this NCB didn't write it. What NCB write is Sushant is a bad person here. That's what's going on, that Sushant is drinking, Sushant is in drugs. And I think that they will be forced on to see the true colors of the family of Sushant here what's really going on inside that house and it will bring opportunity for people to tackle in about the family life of Sushant and this politician will be angered because no one believes in them and this politician have to go away okay how have to leave the work because some politicians will be against them because they are aware that this politician has hidden agendas and this politician is trying to destroy you know this um the media trying to make confusion in sushant's case and that's the reason why sushant will will be 
question about the childhood and this politician who tries to do this will try to run away because he or she will be questioned and what's going to happen here is that people will see that Sushant is really manifesting abundance and wealth. He's really happy with regards to his life before he passed away. And they will see about the true colors of NCB, that NCB is trying their best to to dim the light, okay? Not to speak the truth. And people will see how evil NCB was and they are back to zero because I feel like the politician that's behind the scenes will be afraid of people, angry individuals that is against what they work on. And I feel like there's a lot of fighting or argument in the social. I feel like it's more on as a politician's case situation that they're trying to disrupt the case, okay? And they are trying their, their best to hide the fact that Ray and Sushant was being manipulated, okay? Because I really feel here that really someone is trying to block Sushant from being successful, from being um, abundant or rich. So that's the reason why NCB don't want the truth to come out because if the truth will come out that it's the family of Sushant that did it, no one will believe in them. Bollywood won't be in the picture. So that's why they're trying to destroy this case. They're trying to their best to make it look like it's Rhea who did it so that Bollywood will be in the picture. But then I really feel like really this politician has a bad um, intention, as you can see of destroying this case and I think that what will happen is that yes people will know the news but will question really about whatever NCB is trying to portray because I feel like there is someone that will say the truth about what really happened to Sushant and I'm sensing like people will not really accept whatever they heard in the news because it's not what they discovered in in terms of the crime scene of Sushant and they keep on changing their statement and that's the reason why no one really trusts NCB if you're an investigator if you're an investigator, you should be straight to the point and not somebody that create a lot of conclusion, confusion to the world, okay? Now, anyway, here is the theme. So, you got the breath. So, what we got here, guys, is that no one will believe on it, okay? And because it's NCB who's trying to make a new story with this new life, that's what's going on here. But with the orphan in reverse, I feel like they will try to portray that Sushant is never be alone or doesn't want to be alone. That's what I'm saying here. That he is socialite and drug addict and so forth. But no one will bite it, you know, because they know Sushant is like this. Sushant loves to meditate. Sushant is spiritual and a good person so how come will you say that sushant is a bad person right so that's why no one will bite it because they are destroying sushant's name okay with regards to ncb so that is the outcome for ncb actually it's really draining and make it makes me dizzy or confused so i hope that you don't didn't get confused in this reading guys i know that it's kind of long so is there anything else they say what's important is we learned our lessons that we shouldn't judge people right away right and they blame it to Rhea, but I really feel like NCB will lose its power once that they say something nasty about Sushant. Is there anything else? They say the politician that is um, controlling NCB will be questioned and questioned to the point that he will be out of the picture and he cannot um, destroy the evidence that he is included in NCB. And the angels say that's the reason why he might, whatever he's planning to do, his intention will backfire on him. Like, it will not make him a good person. It will 
make him into a bad person and I really feel here that he really will put to blame Bollywood and the stars. That's what's gonna happen here. So is there anything else? So they say that's it. So let's see the next. Alright, so let's proceed on with the aims. So we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what is the investigation outcome of aims to show to us the overall theme of this reading thank you another they say so we'll check so as the archangels say that aims will be just like ncb okay but then unfortunately for aims there will be a divine intervention that's gonna happen which is there will be a truth that will come out so we also see that in ncb right remember when we ask that there is um somebody will pinpoint about the family of sushant or what really happened inside the apartment because people might forget about it since they are too focused on drugs on what sushant is that is not true right so we'll check with this i feel like the fans will fight or argue that sushant is not a bad person okay we'll see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what is the investigation outcome of aims i feel like whatever they're saying will backfire on them that's what i'm gonna say like no one will believe as well as ncb because people will know the true colors of the situation like they will be aware that the politician behind the scenes is just trying to to come as if this person has good intentions and i really feel like people will be upset because during this time the politician needs to figure out about the case with regards to china and they shouldn't interfere with regards to Sushant's murder case. I feel like it's because there's a lot of fans or a lot of people that has been fighting for Sushant. And that's the reason why they want to be included in the picture. And they have seen the progress of Ishkaran, which is he is becoming famous because of Sushant's murder case. And that's the reason why this politician really wants to, you know, um be successful in being famous because you know they did something to bollywood one more but it will backfire on them because their intention is not really good they should be helping rather than trying to make their names be on the list in the voting right So they just say that there is a warning trigger here, according to them. And if ever you're not willing to to watch, um, rather retreat and skip this video, they say, what do you mean by trigger warning? Will it be striking to people that is watching? So they just say it's because this um, aims is different from ncb aims is tackling on a lot of they say doctors about mental health issue so we all know that a lot of people are into it right depression anxiety worry and aims will tackle on it okay about how sushant handle those things now we'll see what we got here Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of AIMS. One more they tell me. So another they requested. I don't know what happened, but 
while I was putting the cards here, I suddenly knocked the camera. I don't know, but probably they're just trying to stop, okay? Obviously, Sushansky. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? Now, we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. Oh. What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. Another. One more, they tell me. And there's a dog howling. I don't know if you can hear. This is strange. And then my camera fell. I'm not quite sure if I accidentally knocked it or suddenly it fell. One more, they tell me. So, anyway, here is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So, what we got here, guys, is that um, with regards to aims, I'm sensing like, I feel like it will backfire on them whatever they're plotting to do. Because I really feel like, you know, what they're gonna say is that there are People involved, yes, in the murder case of Sushant, but I really feel like, look at that. Like, they will include a lot of people in Sushant's murder case. And I feel like they are very inspired or passionate with regards to Sushant's case, but we'll see what we got here. Then the next is the wheel. So they are trying to pinpoint again Bollywood that is causing the stress with regards to Sushant or making Sushant weak. But then I feel here that people is aware that Sushant is a good person and not an evil person. And I'm sensing like with this one, with regards to aims, they will pinpoint on Rhea because they are focused on Bollywood, about the influence of Bollywood. And obviously, there's a politician involved here with regards to aims, okay? That's trying their best to take the wheel and take the conclusion so with the eight of chalices this is a red flag already because honestly speaking they really didn't tackle on the the review the angels say or whatever the people have been saying like the interrogation they didn't think it over they just come to conclusion right away because someone here is trying to write down it's like it's scripted okay like they have to say the certain thing it's like arnab show that they are scripted that you have to say this and that without even proof okay with this eight of chalices without even looking within what else is there and then the next is the five of pentacles so they're not really working with cbi okay there's someone who don't really use evidences as you can see here that's the reason why with the three of chalices i'm sensing like they are making the murderers run away from their crime even more and I think that people will not be happy with the results because they're trying their best to say that Sushant is a bad person here, okay? And I really feel like this aims, I feel like they are trying their best to hide the truth that Sushant is a star, Sushant is a good person because they're saying the other way around with the world i'm sorry with the wheel of fortune in reverse they're trying to say that sushant is not um here like 
remember that Sushant meditated and really not into um, bad stuff and I feel like the aims and as well as NCB will say it okay but then with this one of course they are interrogations but then it's not really leading towards Sushant's death okay because really Bollywood is not really included in the picture here and with the high priestess I'm sensing yes there is a politician involved trying to see write a script of what really happened to Sushant that Sushant was being forced to I feel like drugs or alcohol by Bollywood and with the six of ones I really feel here that the case will again be at post because of them and like it's getting nowhere like same conclusion over and over again but with the three of ones being in reverse here i'm sensing like um this is a misleading um information that we shouldn't um hold on to because to be honest sushant is a hard worker okay and if ever we tackle in towards whatever they're saying um, how can Sushant work if he is an addict? Because basically, if you have that kind of problem, because I'm seeing so far about, um, let's say, Lindsay Lohan. I don't know if you're aware about that artist, but that artist is really into drugs and alcohol, partying. So what happened to her? She's always late. She really has a bad record. But with regards to Sushant, he's not like that okay and they're trying to tell people that um sushant is kind of a bad person but all honesty is that he is not okay he's a happy person before he died and i think that what's going on with ames is that they're trying to include Rhea in the picture just to say that um sushant is you know I feel committed suicide. I really feel like they're trying their best to make it look like it drugs that kills Sushant. But then I really feel like no one will bite it. Like they they will be confused. Okay, especially that they are aware that Sushant is a happy person, very grounded. Okay, um that's the reason why people are kinda not really interested in the news with regards to NCB and AIMS. But we'll check with the charms what we have here. Another detail. So anyway, here are the charms. So what we got here is this mirror. So if people know about Sushant, they will not really accept whatever the NCB is trying to say. And I'm sorry. Ames is trying to say because they're gonna say more on about Rhea, okay? And I feel like with regards to Disha's case, they will say that it could be a raped case situation and that Bollywood is like this and like that, but it's all, you know, um, not the truth. It's just a joke, okay? Because if people are really smart, if people really see the true colors of Sushant, they will know that Sushant is somebody that is a star. And this Ames is trying to say that Sushant is not a good person at all. And still people will... I feel like it's a test of fate, okay, with regards to Sushant. If ever there's really fans out there, they know that Sushant is exactly a loving person. And a good person, which is very impossible to believe that he... He was able to take these certain drugs, okay, or kind of have this kind of attitude in Bollywood that there will be sexual things, okay, because that is misleading. The angels say not all Bollywood stars are bad. Now, let's see what else we got here. So, with this one, obviously, there is a hidden agenda here by Ames, by um, someone that is from the public eye, they tell me. And I think that there is work behind the scenes here. And I feel like those people that are intellectual, they will really question about um, whatever the Ames are gonna say. Because, obviously, this Ames is somebody that is 
manipulated by a politician because this politician thought that this is a treasure, the Sushant's case, so that I'll be accelerated. They really have bad intentions, but people will realize the true colors of aims because they're trying their best to confuse people even more. And I really feel there's going to be argument about the aims, aims investigation, because people will, they try to say that Sushant is a bad person in the past and that is really misleading because Sushant is an artist and there's no way that Sushant can be great if he is an addict or he's not on the right mindset thinking but they are aware that there is you know Sushant dreams okay right he write a lot of things and that's the reason why no one will believe um, about whatever the AIMS or NCB is gonna say because Sushant is highly gifted, okay? That's what's going on. And again, the politician is trying to work things out, trying to hold the case and then jail those people that are not really included in this murder case situation. And they will try to include Disha's picture here even though it's not really connected in Sushant's murder case. Because how can this should be included if the family is um, the one who killed Sushant, right? And it's gonna be misleading. So if ever the truth will come out, I have a feeling here that Ames and NCB will be in terrible um disaster with regards to reputation because people will be angry of whatever Ames will say because Sushant is an achiever and see there will be angry hearts here and what will happen to politician is that he will be questioned because they try to dim the light of people they try to hide the truth they try to say something that is not about um in the case of Sushant, and I really feel like those people that they try to put to jail, they will not be ended up in jail. And this politician will be questioned a lot because of their intention of using Sushant's case in order to accelerate. And I feel like people will pinpoint about the family of Sushant, okay, because um, they gonna tackle in about the past of Sushant, why is Sushant trying to run away from the family, Okay, and why is it, they will question about the door a lot. I don't know what's going on with the door, but probably it will open the eyes to the truth of the matter here of what happened to Sushant. And why is he keeps on running away? That's what's going on. See, there's really an evil person here. I feel like, I don't know why... We always tackle on about Sushant being followed by somebody or um, by someone who really has bad intention even in here. So that's the reason why I really feel like this person will try to manipulate the case situation that there is Raya in the picture that is trying to hold Sushant's um, money, etc. But I really feel here that no one will believe in it because Sushant keeps on running away and they want to know exactly the truth of why Sushant wants to go in a certain place. And they will say him is really evil here. That's what I'm gonna say. Because I think that somebody's really tried to keep Sushant stuck. And I really feel like there are stories about Sushant. And whatever the Ames is saying is really misleading. It's it's not the truth. Okay, it's like NCB. But with regards to Ames, I think that their impact is not that great, to be honest. Okay? So the next, we got the Blessed. So I feel like people will know that Sushant is somebody that's really a happy person, very grateful each day. And I feel like there will be truth that will be revealed that will really an eye-opener for people. That's what's going to happen. So whatever the aims are doing, it's not gonna accelerate. And I feel like the politician will have this downfall once the truth will come out. Okay, I feel like it's more likely about the background check of Sushant's life um, before he was murdered. That's what I'm sensing here as well. Now, there will be a background check of Rhea, the angels say. 
But unfortunately for Rhea, she will be questioned about overspending of Sushant's money. But then she is not included in murder case, just being questioned about her overspending Sushant's money. Okay? And with regards to NCB, they will be questioned a lot because they will reveal a lot of things that is unnecessarily be out there, the angels say. What's important is we are aware that Sushant is a good person and there's no way that he will be in this certain crime. I feel like they might include Sushant in Disha's case, but then Sushant is not someone who will harass the the manager okay that's the reason why people will get upset and angry about whatever they try to portray whatever they try to say because it's not true it's misleading and they will just provoke um fans to be angry towards them or whatever they say in the media because none of it is true so is there anything else and they're just um, I feel like Ames, Ames is gonna say that Sushant is a bad, but that's the reason why it will backfire, that they will have a bad reputation because it's their karma for trying to make Sushant look bad um, in a certain way or situation. So is there anything else? They say that's it, so let's proceed on with the next. So we will now tackle on about Edie. So let's see about the investigation outcome of ED. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what is the investigation outcome of ED. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. One more detail. So let's see. This is an easier way they tell me. I don't know why it says your ideas needs a practical plan. I don't know why it came to my mind. Hmm. I don't know why it says crying. Why is it ED crying? Or someone is crying? I feel more likely in Raya's case situation crying. Um, I feel like ED is trying its best, okay? To work on with Sushan's case. Even though... I don't know, even though it hurts. But let's see if it has a connection with whatever I sense. Let's see with the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of ED. Another, they say. So we'll check. So the Archangel said to me that there is a reason behind um, ED is delayed and even CBI is working behind the doors, behind closed doors and they're not really showing whatever they discovered because of the media out there is full of lies, full of secrets, full of war in terms of Bollywood, whatever people are saying because it's really out of the blue or out of the picture and i feel like this ed is trying to see why priyanka is trying to control sushan's finances not raya at all and people are trying to push forward that raya is included in the murder even though it's not really true now we'll see with the tarot angels and guides please provide guidance it will make um the family be questioned even more once that the ed and cbi will speak out angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of ed
We will know the true colors of Rhea once the ED spoke up. And Rhea is manifesting the truth to come out by telling the truth. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? Do you want another outcome? So another. Why do you have to kill someone that is helping you? That's what I sense here. So we will clarify. That's why Ray is out of the picture. With regards to murder case situation, like the FIR of the family of Sushant will backfire on them. Because obviously they are really against the marriage of Sushant. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like Priyanka will be questioned a lot in terms of this kind of situation about money laundering. And even the court can't even help Priyanka. Even though, let's say, um, those are her colleagues. But unfortunately for them, they can't do anything to save this person. But to see that Rhea is not really someone who is controlling or kind of um, kinda the one that is really has that reaction in the video of Sushant. Like, they can see the true colors of the sisters of Sushant with that video, with how they acted, okay? How kind of a bad person they are. And I unkeep that too, they say. Like, people will see the true colors once that the ED will say something and CBI too, and it will backfire whatever aims and cb is trying to put in the picture like bollywood is not there anymore and it's more on money laundering etc and people will be upset that whatever they believe in in the first place is not true at all since a lot of people are brainwashed already and ishkaran will be put to test in this kind of situation too if he will tell the truth or not now, anyway, here is the overall um, energy of the reading. So, obviously, judgment truth will come out about the murder case of Sushant. And this is strange because I really sense three sisters here. And it gives me the chills upon holding this card. Okay? I really feel like who really murdered Sushant is really someone that is trying to make Sushant feel weak. Okay? trying to control i feel like priyanka will be added in the picture though she is not one of the murderers okay i feel like it's more on the family of sushant and i feel here that they will see that sushant is really killed by somebody that is close to him okay that is trying to pretend that they are close to sushant trying to make it look like I feel like they act funny after Sushant's death that they keep on posting these nasty pictures and before, no, they didn't do that for Sushant, okay? And with this Four of Cups being here, so I really feel like Sushant is somebody that's really giving a lot towards others. And I really feel like Sushant, I am, he's trying his best to shield himself from these people in his end because they are draining his money they are um working towards 
him not fulfilling his goals and his dreams. And Sushant is aware about it. That's why he's planning to walk away from these people, walk away from his family. But upon him walking away, this family caused him to death. I feel like Edie knows really exactly what happened. And they put to blame Rhea, even though Rhea is actually the one whom will be happy if ever she will get married with Sushant. And that's the reason why I sensed earlier, why would you kill someone who is helping you out? Right? Because Rhea is abundant if Sushant was there. And there's no way she will be abundant if Sushant was killed. And that's the reason why Edie knows exactly the true colors of the situation here. That this family filed FIR so that they will put the blame to Rhea about what they did to Sushant. And then the next is this one with the hangman. So I really feel like what the ED wants to say is the truth. That Rhea is not in the picture and someone obviously who did this to Sushant is somebody who is with him during those times that he was killed. Okay, and then with this Ace of Pentacles, so I think that they will still show the true colors of these people. I feel little by little, okay? Because if they bring in the truth right away, people may not accept it. People will be shocked, obviously, here, okay? Because they know the truth hurts, right? And with this one, I really feel like there's really monetary laundering going on here. I, I feel like Edie will prove it, okay, about this coin and who has the advantage with regards to the coin of Sushant and why Sushant feel very weak, very defenseless, very submissive towards others. So with a judgment in reverse here, so right now, obviously, this is, has been happening in NCB and AIMS. Like, whatever they're telling is not the truth, when all honesty is that the truth is not complicated. Okay, that's what's going on. So the ED aims to put to, what do you call this, put away whatever misleading things is out there. Okay, try to give one cup only. Okay, the truth only. That's what's going on. And that is also the aim of Ishkaran before, but sadly, he's one of the distort here. That's what's gonna happen is this person, the brainwashing will be over once the truth came out. Because there's a lot already of confusion out there. And ED will say something so that these people... See, will not confuse everyone anymore. Slowly but surely, the angels say. And with the six of wands, I'm sensing here that they are trying their best to make it seem like Sushant is really happy wherever he is before the murder happened. Like he has plans for the future, he's passionate about life, and there's no way he will commit suicide. And obviously... Rhea um, has this burden, okay, of carrying the blame of others. But he, she was really away during those times. And I think that Rhea is the one who really is, didn't, somebody who didn't have any advantage at all after Sushant died. And sadly, you know, there's a lot of lies there that really put the blame about this person, even though... She's included in Sushant's plans, right? So the next is the Six of Cups. So I'm sensing here that Sushant is really planning with Rhea of how to live. And even somebody inside the apartment is knowing about this. That's what's going on here. And with the world being in reverse here, I'm sensing like what the ED will say is that these people inside the apartment is aware about the plans of Sushant. And those whom doesn't like whatever Sushant is planning is the one whom killed Sushant, whom prevent him from running away. 
So there's really a spy in the apartment there. So anyway, let's see about the outcome. So for an outcome, we got this Knight of Pentacles. So obviously, the angels say that this ED will try to guide people towards the truth about the money laundering thing, okay? Who really is the one who don't want Sushant to earn money, who don't, who hold on, um, who's trying to control Sushant and Rhea, that's what they want to say. And I think that this murderers who really did it is really not in the picture yet in terms of the media. So they're working behind the scenes and they're not really happy about the distort in the media. It's out of hand, okay? And then the next is the star in reverse. So I really feel like Rhea right now is really not happy. Really someone who has a downfall after Sushant was killed. So that's the reason what why ed wants to speak up because the distort has been happening so they want to say why would you want to kill someone who is helping you out so that's the reason why raya is not really on the picture and the sad news is that this murderer is running away okay and destroy the evidences obviously but they cannot run away from what they did because to be honest, the one who's really suffering is Rhea. Because Rhea only has that advantage when she was with Sushant. But if Sushant was murdered, there's no way she will be able to rise up, right? And whomever kills Sushant is greedy of money, obviously, and wants to take control of Sushant. And even Rhea is not in control, okay as you can see here and i feel like whatever the murderers has been doing trying their best to make their their face reputation blossom it will backfire once at the ed and cbi will say something about the murder let's see about the charms what it has to say So that's why India will be divided. Either they will believe in NCB or AIMS or they will believe in ED and CBI. Another. So we'll see with the charms. So honestly speaking, the wise will know the truth, right? will more tackling on with regards to ED because it is you know um probe is actually right because with the mirror here they're tackling on about the attitude of people around Sushant and who will benefit after Sushant passed away because obviously the media out there see this wanna run away is misleading Okay, whatever NCB and AIMS are trying to say that Rhea is included, no. Rhea will only have this money after Sushant's death if ever Rhea was married. And obviously, whomever killed Sushant, okay, doesn't want this marriage to happen. As you can see here, but sadly, Rhea carried that burden of getting blamed and that is what people didn't see because all they blame is Rhea because of the news and you know this CBI and ED is really you know trying to browse, browse everyone okay spy on everyone who really cares for Sushant and you know, these people cannot be brainwashed because they are logical, they are wise, they are practical, and they know the truth. Oops, sorry. So anyway, let's see about the cards here. So obviously, what's going on here is really someone is trying to play the blame game, okay? And I feel like they want to say that Rhea and Sushant was trying to get away from the situation because there's somebody in the picture that is really manipulating Sushant from reaching his goals and his dreams, see? And that's the reason why Sushant keeps on running away, rather wanna be alone because 
There's somebody who's spying on Sushant always. That's what's going on on him, and it causes him stress, anxiety, and worry. That's why he really wants to get out. Okay, because his people are bad and nasty towards him. And I feel like those people that are close to Sushant knows about this. I feel like he is really happy with his colleagues, but not with the one who's really controlling him, manipulating him, and so forth, or causing him stress, troubles. I feel like it's always rare that they put the blame but to be honest they are the one who needs to be blamed why sushant is depressed why sushant has anxiety it's because of them so with this here and now so it is focused on the past okay before the murder happened and with the mending being here and clean it up they're trying to see why this family destroyed the evidences Okay, as you can see here. And with the mending being here, so I really feel like, um, I feel like they, they would say that it could be the sisters of Sushant that is really planning or plotting something, work hand in hand to clear the evidences here and make that illusion for the world to see that it was Rhea to blame because Rhea is close to Sushant, right? And unfortunately, they will not they will not be able to to pinpoint Rhea anymore once the truth will come out because they thought that they can run away from it, right? And I really feel like there's really somebody here, okay, in the picture that tries to come after Sushant, as you can see, okay? And these people don't want to be abandoned by Sushant, always try to include in Sushant's life but Sushant doesn't want them wants to run away from them and obviously Rhea will only have this advantage if Sushant is alive but there's no way that Rhea can have all this money all this glory after Sushant's death because she is not married to Sushant okay and sadly people are brainwashed they don't think it they don't think it first so we'll have that advantage if Sushant passed away, they are being manipulated by media. And this is what the ED tries to ignore. Okay. So that's why little by little they will say something. Okay. But not right away that they will say something because it will, it will just be washed away by people who doesn't believe. Because the ED wants people to think. Okay. Not to be just fed in by news, but they want people to know first, okay? To think twice before judging others. That's what they want to do. And they want to know whom is really the one who has this after Sushant's death. Because obviously, Rhea doesn't have that. But sadly, she was blamed. And the why in either way. So, the ED... I feel here is planning on how to broadcast the truth because people might question if they give the whole pot, okay, of the truth. So that's why this is an either way. They don't want to be questioned because I really feel like they want people to know the true colors of the situation here, of the FIR, of the money laundering who really took advantage, who really took money who really was in control of Sushant's abundance or wealth. And why is it Sushant is running away from the family? Okay, so is there anything else? And they are trying their best to uh, swap off whatever this NCB aims lies are. Because, to be honest, it is um, trying to ignore the media, trying to ignore the... Uh, politicians trying to ignore the aims and ncb because it's out of the blue they say out of the blue i don't know why they say out of the blue they come forth okay to destroy the case and i feel like ishkaran will be challenged on this time that ed will speak up and it's up to him if he want to save his reputation or not that's what they want to say is there anything else they say that's it, so let's proceed on to the next.
Right, so let's see about CBI. Okay, so what is the outcome of their investigation? Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What is the outcome of the investigation of CBI? Please show to us the overall theme of this reading so truth be revealed. Once that it's ready, the angels say, I feel like I don't know why it says people are harassing Rhea as of this time and other Bollywood stars. And CBI is kind of in the case situation of murder. Murder case. Like they're focused on it and they're not really focused on the facts of what's out there. And this is in reverse. That's what they want to say. I don't know why I also sense a lot of betrayals has been happening, going on in circles and misleading facts. So, I don't know why it's shaky. Earth drilling, earth shaking. It's a term for this, the angels say. And I don't know why I sense kind of hurtful energy here. I feel like a lot of people are trying to include um, Rhea in the picture, but CBI didn't see that, okay? And even ED. But I really feel like some stars are trying to manifest the truth to come out, but Ankita is not interested on in seeing the truth or the true colors of people that she is trying to... I feel like she's pretending that they are good people, but they're not really a good people. Like Sushant is even avoiding these people. And that's why Sushant can't get along with Ankita back then. And I feel like whatever Ankita is trying to hide, trying to prove, it will try to... I feel like she tried to manipulate a situation, but it's not gonna work out. People will question about her little by little. Once that the ED is trying to speak out, I feel like ED will speak more than CBI, to be honest. And ED is authentic, but then it shows the true colors and true nature of the sisters of Sushant. Once that the case is trying to close itself because of NCB and AIMS. I feel like that is the moment where ED will try to tell the truth to the world. Because, you know, the truth is closing out. And they want people to think, okay? Because these people are brainwashed by a lot of spoon-feeding information. So let's see with whatever the cards is here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the investigation outcome of CBI. Another. I sense prayer rally. I feel like some once the truth will come out, people will have prayer rallies about the sisters of Sushant. What really they did about the prayers. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like angry people um, trying to be in Facebook, in Instagram, and fighting over... Who really killed Sushant? But let's see with the tarot. I feel like they hate brainwashed. I feel like people will now see um, Rhea's true colors. And they will are deeply hurt. They will be aware that Rhea is not in the picture. And even Bollywood stars. And people start to cry upon... Uh, manipulating those whom are fighting for the truth, fighting for justice. Whomever bully those people that are speaking the truth, they might say sorry for what they did. They might even close their channel for some of them, close their social media account, and expose the sisters of Sushant. And even Ankita. 
and Ankita will play the blame game but it doesn't work out so this is an easier way Ankita will end up like Kangana losing a house because it's Sushant's property and she didn't respect Sushant so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and this is the outcome I really sense sadness here like a lot of people will be sad because there's a lot of people that are brainwashed. Now we will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I don't know why I want to cry. I don't know if you can sense that, guys, but really, I I feel the energy of people that are brainwashed. How foolish they have been to follow the wrong people, to follow the misleading media, to follow Ankita, to follow Ishkaran, whatever they're talking about. And I really feel like these influencers that are brainwashing others will lose their um credibility they will lose money they will lose their career they will even lose their social media and i really feel like um nervousness or shaking chills okay that's what i feel here and sadness and ten of cups so obviously sushant will be very happy once that the truth is out and I feel like CBI will say something, will say that Sushant is really happy with the friends, with whatever he has in that apartment, okay? And with the higher of fun, those who really kill Sushant is really somebody who doesn't want Sushant to be happy. And this is the next. So with the Queen of Wands energy, so I really feel like Rhea, on the other hand, is helping Sushant to get away from the spies, from whomever wanting to kill Sushant. Like Rhea is on the picture of someone whom is really wanting Sushant to be happy. But then with this Four of Pentacles in reverse, so I'm sensing like whomever murders Sushant obviously is somebody who's trying to manipulate Sushant, trying to destroy whatever Sushant plan is, okay? Trying to get the hold or grip of the money or wealth of Sushant. And with the Two of Cups being here, so I really feel like they base it on the looks of Rhea, that Rhea is trying to say that she really tried to to make Sushant happy to I feel like they destroy evidences because the evidence has proof that Rhea is not really in the picture of Sushant's death okay and the murder cannot run away from whatever they did to Sushant they tried their best to be a the good person here but then everything will be shrieved off okay that's what they gonna say and i feel like with regards to shan's family i feel i can't hardly express myself because to be honest i feel here that they are brainwashing others that sushant has been happy towards them when all the truth is that they are the one who are bad i really feel like they're tackling in about sushant's party before the day that he passed away because that can give a clue here and then i feel like the family will be questioned if you're not really included in the murder why are you swapping away all the evidences and they cannot run away obviously for what they did okay and i feel like money laundering will be in the picture again because they're gonna question who really has the advantage after sushan's murder was it Bollywood? Was it the family? Was it Rhea? Okay. And they will question um, about Sushant's life as well. Whom is the one who really makes Sushant happy? Whom is really the one who's draining the money of Sushant and at the same time making him feel sad or stuck? 
in terms of him reaching his goals and his dreams. Because this is what Sushant wants. He wanna be happy. Okay, he wanna be out of the picture. He wanna travel. He wanna leave everyone behind. Okay, and somebody murdered him so that this may not happen. So obviously, Raya is not on the picture. Because Raya is supporting Sushant in his dreams. And this other picture is someone that doesn't want Sushant to be happy. It's always jealous on what Sushant has. Kind of Sandeep vibe to be honest with you all. But we'll check with the charms what it has to say. That's why they include Raya in the picture. So that, you know, they will make it look like... Sushant is unhappy with Rhea and even Ankita is kind of jealous with Sushant, okay? And one more. So that's why Ankita might be included in the picture too. Will be questioned by Edie because they will question people that are against Sushant's money or happy happiness or dreams. Whom is really against this? So, pictures is not enough to prove that Sushant is happy with them. So, with this one, I'm sensing like the murder case situation always runs with Rhea, as you can see here. And they are also observing the media and they realize that everything there is just a joke. Okay? They're trying to be... Um, to be someone that's practical in this case situation. And I feel like they also gathered some medical information of Sushant. And they see Sushant as a passionate person, as someone who's very creative. And with regards to drugs, it's very misleading because they think that if ever Sushant is very creative, okay, of course you use your mind in into doing things that are creative, right? Or being passionate about life. That's why it doesn't make sense, okay? And about the drugs or whatever it was. And I really feel here that they're making the wise decisions and they're taking their sweet time to put the puzzle pieces together. And actually, they are really angry with what's going on in the media because they're trying to make that conclusion um, in people and... People are believing on that, sadly. But then the truth is, the angels say, okay, Rhea and Sushant is, you know, working on defending themselves or trying to run away from the society because somebody out there is really against the marriage of Sushant or with the plans of Sushant on what Sushant wants to do. And sadly, you know, they put to blame Rhea because actually Rhea is part of Sushant's plan, okay, of leaving people behind, of leaving even Bollywood life behind and wanting to be happy, wanting to live a simple life, right? So I really feel like whomever is against this happiness and joy of Sushant, obviously they're the one who killed Sushant. Okay, and that's what they see, okay, with regards to the outcome. So this is the only one that they gave. So obviously, they think that somebody from abroad is in the picture. I feel like it's because of what they discovered so far in the messages. I think that they gathered some information about that. Anyway, so... They're just not showing it yet because I feel like in terms of speaking to the media, I feel like it will speak first before CBI. And what we got here, obviously, is that um, there is somebody from abroad. I feel like there is really a conversation here that will lead them to see that whomever is really plotting this thing of killing Sushant is not really wanting Sushant to be happy or reach his goals and his dreams. It's just repeat here in this set of cards. And obviously, before Sushant pass away, he is happy and is reaching his goals and his dreams. But these people who murder him, okay, want to take something that is not for them. As you can see here, that they are against Sushant's joy and happiness. And this deep knowing the CPI knows that the family, true colors of the family of Sushant, okay, that they are really 
not in good terms. Okay, so Sushant and the family is not in the good terms. Okay, and Rhea and Sushant, on the other hand, is on this goal of leaving the society, right? That's what's going on here. But Sushant wasn't able to escape and reach for his goals and his dreams because these past people came and killed him. That's what happened. And these killers tried to prove themselves as they are a good family, as Sushant is happy with them so they can run away from whatever they did and live a new life and happy even without Sushant. But that will change because CBI knows exactly that Rhea and Sushant is happy, right? It's gonna reach their goals and their dreams, but then sadly, this dream was taken away from them by family, obviously. And this is a misleading about the media that I feel like the family wants Sushant to follow them, but Sushant don't want to because Sushant wants to follow his goals and his dreams, but then this family doesn't want and with a breath in here, so Sushant so wants to live a happy, joyful life away from stress, away from the murderers, they say. Murderers don't want it for Sushant. And with a time for a nap in both ways, so I'm sensing here that this CBI is still studying, taking their sweet wine to rest, to contemplate before they would say something because of course it will turn the world upside down okay and this case is obviously unfinished and some people wants to finish it with a conclusion that is not even true so with a mending and orphan so i really feel like this family doesn't want to be abandoned by sushan that's why they keep on coming forth towards sushan's life trying to be there they thought that um they need Sushant forever in their life. They want to be Sushant to tie down to them. They don't want Sushant to get married, obviously. And they are so toxic to Sushant. That's why Sushant wants to get rid of them. And get rid of them, meaning Sushant wants to run away from them, obviously, because of their toxic behavior. So how will you feel if someone is draining you? Someone doesn't want you to achieve your goals and your dreams. Of course, you want to run away from them, right? So that is what Sushant is doing. And I feel like they believe in Rhea's um, proof about that um, call that Sushant really wants to go away somewhere and live a happy life with Rhea. Okay, so is there anything else? They say that's it, so let's proceed on to the next. So let's see about the last, okay? This is about the court case trial outcome, so let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the court case outcome of Sushant's case. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another detail. So let's see. This is an easier way they tell me. I feel like Rhea will be in the picture here, but then unfortunately that this case will question her over and over again, just like what NCB and Ames have been doing with her. And I feel like with regards to the court case situation, um, I feel like the family will be also here and they will be questioned why they tampered evidences of Sushant. In Sushant's case, okay, so we'll see with his cards, angels, and guides. I feel like they will be questioned if they are hiding something. So we may know about the court case trial outcome. Another, they see. So one more, they tell me.
So there will be a 50-50 chance that it will be something that is true. Okay, do you want to give more? I feel like CBI will manifest the truth to come out and even ED. Angels and guides, one more for. Okay, no need, they say. I feel like they might question some tarot readers. I don't know why. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the court case trial outcome. Why will be tarot readers are included? <laughs> So, now this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So, what is the outcome? I feel like truth will come out eventually after CBI will manifest the truth. That's what's happening here. Now, we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more day tell. Another, they say. So, we'll see. I feel like they're putting the puzzle pieces together with regards to the murder case of Sushant. And the angels say that they are basing the facts over ED and CBI because NCB and AIMS during this time is very, I feel like heartbroken, like they're out of the picture, I feel. And I feel like some people will question I feel like most likely the one who pretends to be Sushant's friend, even not really a friend, toxic friend, even Ankita will be questioned about her laundering money when they are still together. Like cycles in Sushant's life is repetitive, like people are using him for money, even his past lovers. Alright, so this is... Okay, one more. They wanna say... Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why my f cards are... <laughs> this came out. But they came out flying. Okay. Now, anyway, they tampered evidences. And obviously, who did really murder Sushant, right? So in the court case, this is what's gonna happen. Of course, both parties are defending each other. That's what's going on. And I feel like in Raya's case situation, they are standing and the other who really murdered Sushant, I feel like all blame will be in them. Because they have a hard time defending on not showing their true colors at the same time the secrets. So, Raya has a lot of sticks while the other only have one. That's what's going on. And the next is the tower. So obviously they will be questioned who really manipulates Sushant. Okay, when he was still alive and whom really doesn't make Sushant happy. And that will be come to test about the bond. And I really feel with this tower, I feel like those people that are in the murder 
gay situation or in that apartment will be questioned. But then I really feel here that Rhea will say that she's not there, right? And I really feel like there is proof here that Rhea is not really watching over Sushant after she walk away from Sushant. And I feel like Rhea is not really happy about the murder. That's what's happened here. And it's really out of the blue, like Rhea will not expect it to happen because I think that they really have this plan for the future. But then I really feel like the court case situation will question who is here that um, was not really included in the murder because I feel like it's a planned murder here, okay, right? And with the emperor in reverse, so I'm feeling here that they're thinking if somebody can manipulate Sushant, it could be the one who murdered Sushant. That's what they want to prove. And as well as, I feel like they will base on Edie's facts that there's really someone that launders Sushant's money. And whenever this person comes forth, this person is always against Sushant's plans, okay? That's what's going on. So obviously, we will get this good answer from the court case situation because they are seeing now the picture of how Sushant been treated inside the family. And the family of Sushant, on the other hand, cannot defend how they treated Sushant. And they will be questioned for, you know, um, tampering evidences. Okay, that's what's going on here. And with the world in either way, I'm sensing like they will tackle obviously the death, right? And I'm feeling here that some, I feel like Priyanka will be questioned, okay? I feel like Priyanka is the one who will be saying that could be Priyanka planned this because she likes the money, etc. But I really feel like she's aware about Sushant's um, depression and she will be questioned a lot. Probably Priyanka is the cause. So with the world in both ways, I'm sensing here that this court will question everyone whom created this scene, okay, in the tower, in that inside that apartment. I can hardly express myself. I feel like in this kind of questioning, a lot of people will create drama inside the court. A lot of people will lie. That's what I'm sensing here. And no one will accept the fact that they killed Sushant, obviously. And as I told you, there will be drama scene inside so that um, they will not be included in the blame game, okay? So with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, so they will question who really got the money after Sushant passed away and ran away with the money. So with the justice being in reverse here, I'm sensing like with the Wheel, with the wheel of Fortune, I'm feeling here that they will question why Rhea ran away and then Sushant got killed. That is the question here. And I feel like he's, he's also being questioned some deep. Okay, and me too as well. Why they work together. And it, I feel like me too will deny um, being with Sandeep. That's what's going on here, but they are together. And then the next is the page of Cobb's River. So I'm sensing here that the court will analyze who really killed Sushant and who gave Sushant this, um, this substance that killed his life, okay, or make him weak, okay, that's what they're thinking about. And with this Ten of Swords in reverse, so obviously 50 50, they don't know if it's Rhea or, San, or Sandeep or me too. I feel like they will be confused in terms of who really killed Sushant because a lot of people there in the court will try to say that they are loved by Sushant, etc. And I feel like it will lead on to money laundering because ED has strong evidences with regards to it. Okay, like somebody really took advantage of Sushant's properties. And even money. And I feel like because the ED's investigation was there, I feel like people are becoming aware now who really killed Sushant and these people are running away. 
obviously. And I think that um, with the strength in reverse here, I'm sensing like about Rhea, the one that um, they try to blame. I feel like Rhea will be out of the picture because I think here that AD really prove it that it's not Rhea who really take advantage of Sushan's money or try to control Sushan's wealth, okay? So obviously with this Nine of Cups being here, in the court case trial, I really feel like Sushant will be happy because I think that the one who is accused is which is Rhea, okay, is out of the picture because of course they have plans together with Rhea, right? And then five of ones in reverse. So obviously Rhea don't have money when Sushant was killed. So it's very impossible that Rhea is the one who killed Sushant because upon killing Sushant, it doesn't benefit her at all, okay? And Sushant is somebody who's running away from someone, right? Those people that he don't consider as someone who will help him with his dreams. And then the next is the tower. Okay, I think I got hurt here already. I told this already. Sorry, I got confused. So let's see about the outcome. So for an outcome, we got the six of pentacles in reverse. I feel here with regards to the family of Sushant, they will run out of money. They will run out of um, people that will try to help them. Because I really feel here that they will say that it's suicide. They will try to change the topic. That's what they're planning to do. Because I really feel like they try their best to release the burden off of their shoulders. But with the seven of chalices in reverse, they cannot distort the case anymore. Like there's only one truth. And I feel like the truth will reveal itself. That's what I'm seeing here. So I really feel like they pay attention towards those people who really support Sushan to reach his goals and his dreams. And with the Empress in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles, so I'm sensing here that upon the death of Sushan, it wasn't able to, to be in the 3D realm or to be able to materialize, right? And I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles here, so I really feel like it opened the door towards this, um, this scene wherein people will question that who is this person that's really against Sushan's happiness and joy. Like they are the blockage here. And after Sushan's death, obviously Rhea, wasn't able to benefit at all, right? And the one whom really is a murderer really escaped from it or has this opportunity of getting known, right? They use Sushan for fame to gain attention even, attention seekers, the angels say. So let's see about the charms. And they want to be popular too like Sushan. But then they will be popular for killing Sushant. So let's see with the charms. So the angels say to me that be ready because this situation will be over sooner or later. Somebody just prolonged the case situation. It should be over by September but then some people, politics is on the picture. <laughs> Suddenly my throat chakra hurt. So I feel like a lot of people obviously will try to ruin this court situation with lies, obviously speaking. But there is wise people in the court, as you can see here. So I feel like, again, it will be all blamed to Rhea, as you can see, again, with this one. And I'm feeling here that those people, the murderers, will try to pretend that, again, they are caring people. When all honesty is that they are a burden in Sushant's life, that's why Sushant keeps on running away from them. And they are against the marriage of Sushant and Rhea. And I feel like they will be angry because the truth is coming out. And somebody here is being dominant over Sushant. Not wanting Sushant to grow. And this is misleading. They say that um, there is drugs there. That 
Sushant is taking drugs, but he's not. He's a very passionate person. He's very creative. So how come he will do such thing if he has plans for the future? So that's the reason why NCB and AIMS is out of the blue here. Like their conclusion is not accepted in court. And with this world being here, so I'm sensing like it will it will be tested, the angels say, like the court obviously will be like media roaming around in circles and like some statements are misleading and obviously these lawyers might must be wise. I can hardly express myself really. A lot of people will lie inside the court. Now we'll check with the other cards that we have here. So with this one fire. I'm sensing here that look at this, okay? Like someone really sees Sushant as a treasure. As you can see here. And this person is very passionate on getting Sushant. While Sushant on the other hand is getting away from this murderer. Whoever really killed him. Because he's working hard so that he can achieve his goals and his dreams. And there's really someone in the picture that is really manipulating him or harassing him even so that you know he can still be controlled by these people and these people don't want Sushant to be happy obviously okay that's the reason why Sushant wants to walk away from them and I feel like um, this person obviously is trying to control even the society and i feel like they will observe that they will observe how controlling manipulative the family of sushant is because they're even doing that after sushant's death towards people and i'm sensing like they are even controlling others to be against Rhea when Rhea is obviously supporting sushant's goals and his dreams and obviously what will happen inside the court, they will know who is really a good person and bad person in Sushant's life. Okay, and whom is this manipulative person who is trying to take control, take, take charge over Sushant's life. And I really feel like they, are, they will create a drama scene again in court just the way that they're doing it in social media before, right? That is their game. See? So, I feel like in the court case, they will say that the family of Sushant is really not a good family. Okay? Because TikTok in reverse, I think that... They will um, try to destroy Sushant. They don't want Sushant to be happy. They are a hindrance towards the dreams and goals of Sushant. And that's the reason why Sushant wants to get out from them. And this family obviously don't want to be abandoned. Okay, I feel like there are some evidences that we have here. Okay, and I really feel like with the regeneration in reverse here, I'm sensing like they want to grasp Sushant, okay? I feel like they are the reason about the downfalls of Sushant. There's something with the messages. I wonder what they got there. So with a not for you in both ways, I'm sensing here that obviously inside the court, it's 50-50 why some people believe in the family while some people believe in the case situation wherein the family is, you know, the one that is really abusing Sushant while he is still alive. I can hardly express myself in this one. But all I can say is in the court case, it's again 50-50. Let's just hope and pray that things will work out. Because I believe that again, the family will create a lot of lies, drama inside the court. But I think the lawyer should not fall for it, to be honest with you. Okay, so is there anything else? So, I don't know why since Arnab is questioned. wonder why. And Ankita too, they say. And I feel like things are repetitive, like it was media. The debates in media, they say. Okay, so the angels say, don't worry, there might be... um. 
There might be some case situation will be frustrated, but then while the case was ongoing, they will slowly see the true colors of the family. Okay, how they handle the case, how they mistreat people, how they um, control or mind control others, how they are attention seekers in the social media, how they play pretend, etc. Okay, and is there anything else? They say what's important is they will learn the lessons the hard way, not to summon the divine. Okay, in this situation, especially if they are the evil one. Is there anything else? They say, be prepared. That's what they're saying. This case, okay, the angels say supposedly this case is already over. But before that, the angels say they want people in Bollywood to realize something in this case situation. That in some cases, there is already some problems inside the families of the Bollywood stars. And it's not only happening in Bollywood, but in some of the stars. And that's the reason why some stars really commit suicide. Okay, and it's not basically always about the people that are their work that are they working with, but sometimes it's the family who did it. So is there anything else? So I don't know why sense linking part. To be honest with you, with regards to that person who say that they that person commits suicide. I really feel very doubtful about that, okay? Like, I feel like it's not suicide at all. I don't know, but I feel that strange hunch. Anyway, is there anything else? They say that's it. So, anyway, thank you for watching and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.